What is up guys, Zach in here, and in today's video, you're going to watch me virtually wholesale a property basically from start to finish. Now, I got myself into a little bit of a pickle last night, and this has led me to make this video where I, for the next hour, two, three hours, how long it's gonna take me, I'm going to go sell a deal I locked up over a live stream. That's right. Last night I had a one-on-one -on -one call and this person asked me if this was a good deal or not. And it was a property that was listed for $45,000 in Dayton. I said, no, it's not a good deal. You gotta be below 35 at minimum for this to even be a good wholesaling deal. And basically he said, well, let me just call up the seller right now and see if you can get it down in price. And I said, okay, lo and behold, I got the deal locked up for $30,000. Here's a picture of the contract. And I've done a previous video of the whole recording. And here's a little bit of a clip of that conversation. Yo, what's up? Hey, what's up, Tyler? Uh, I have my partner right now. He's on the phone. Uh, hey, Tyler, this is Zach. Hi, Zach. Nice to meet you. Hey, man. Um, just being honest with you, um, talk to Xavier about this real estate deal right here. Uh, I'm just going to cut to the chase here. Our price is $30,000. Right, just it needs way too much work for us. Quote this thing out. If it doesn't work, no big deal. We can get out of the agreement. Uh, I, I don't want to force you into something, but that's where we have to be right now. Okay. Um, would you be able to at least kind of break down how you got there, or you? Or I'll, I'll be straight up with you. This thing's been first of all. This thing's been listed for eighty days at forty-five thousand dollars, and I, I see the price got cut. There's no way at all we can buy this property, put money into it and put it back on the market. And appraiser can look at it and see that this got no price activity at 45,000 for 80 days. So straight up with any person, if we renovate the property and put it back on the market, the numbers just won't work with that. Gotcha, so have you taken a look, like did you, did you look into it yourself or how are you, so you said 80 days, where'd you see that or where'd you find it? Based that? on the pictures on the property. So you found it was sitting for 80 days at 45K based off of the pictures? Based off the listing. Oh, okay. So you looked Am I at wrong? the listing. So, so you looked at the listing, the listing on where? Zillow. Zillow, okay. So uh, actually, I just actually lowered the price yesterday to 45. So I'm not sure where you're getting that, but I actually just lowered it to 45 yesterday. 245? Yeah, he just lowered it to 245 yesterday. 245, yes. No, no, no. Okay. It was listed uh, 221, 2023 for $50,000 uh, pending sale. Listed for sale 320, 2023. Price change 325, 2023. Right, yes, yesterday. So was it? Eight days. Uh, it says right here, days on Zillow. Um, Xavier, let me show you my screen really quick just so you can see this. Uh, does it yeah. say 80 days or does it not say 80 days on this? Yeah. It was listed for 80 days. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all we're trying to get past. So, right. Tyler, do you think I just that. Make sure you're, yeah, you're still, my thing is you're coming in strong, right? You said, you know, 30,000, take it or leave it. You know, and you're, you're kind of running through your, your reasoning, but, it, you know, I just want to make sure you have your information actually in order before I just run in and accept your low ball. Um, so it wasn't listed for, for, for 80 days at 45,000, that, that matters. Um, and then also it was pending for, for that 45 days. Um, actually I had a deal with another wholesaler, um, and they couldn't pay their escrow payment. Um, this was a foreclosure. Tyler, I'm not, a, uh, Tyler, I, I ain't going to wholesale this. This thing will be bought in for cash. I'm he, not a he wholesale. buy it for cash. This is my so, partner. This is my as partner. A cash buyer, buy cash, as somebody that buys and rents out properties, that's my price. I'm not here to say, oh, and wholesale does I, I'm here to buy this thing cash. So unfortunately that's where we're at. I, I hate to be all, you know, a hardball at this, but those are the numbers. And if not, I can go buy another cheaper property in Dayton and make it work. Um, so I, I'm not here to debate it. That's where we're at. And uh, that's how I came up with the numbers. Okay. So, so I really think, so just respectfully, I think, um, that, you know, like that really isn't, um, like what you're saying, like really isn't uh, fair, honestly, because you're pretty much saying take it or leave it. But you, you know, I, I would really, if I'm going to accept that offer, I need to know how you got there. So I need to know what the ARB is, you know, what what the rehab costs you estimate be, you know, all that to see if it's a good deal for me. So, so can you run through the specifics? This is the specific. All right. Let me give you the specifics on this. I can buy this thing for $30,000. That's where I'm at. Is it a yes or no? Um, let me get back to you. Okay. Let me get back to you. 
Please get right. back to me. All right. All right. If, All right. Um, I need an answer uh, by tomorrow. Uh, if not, we're just going to go buy another property. And we are closing. We should be closing this week, too. So that's the thing. He, I told you he's a heavy hitter. He closed within like 24 hours. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you know, Xavier, we kind of been, we're, we've been talking and we've kind of, you know, built a rapport. But I just, you know, the way uh, you said your name was Zach. My name is Zach. Yeah, yeah. Um, really, really uh, not getting really a positive vibe at all. Like, I understand, like, you know. Um, I'm a numbers guy, Tyler. I'm sorry. I'm sorry? I'm a numbers guy. I, unfortunately, this is not here where I'm trying to, this is not a sales thing for me. This is, I can buy this thing and rent it out and go straight to it. Um, if you want to deal with somebody that will give you the whole positive vibes, I would highly recommend listing it on the market. Uh, when you're dealing with a legit cash buyer who's going to buy this thing cash, we're all with the numbers, man. Okay, yeah. So you have my contract. So uh, so what, what more do you need from me at this point? A yes nope. or no? Yeah, let's do that. Yep. Let's lock it in. Let's lock right. it in. 30000 30, Yep, yep. I'm just I'm taking... Uh, taking the, the the hell on this one are you sure because we i mean we could close this week and i mean yeah yeah i mean one more yeah so i said yeah so what i mean just let me know what more you need all right cool i'll send everything is locked up all right cool we'll finalize it and so i got the deal renegotiated so now i have a personal responsibility since i got the deal locked up with the guy to renegotiate it down to now find a buyer and get this deal sold so this is why you are going to watch me today go on the computer right here and find some cash buyers have some conversations and get this deal done so you can see again the entire wholesaling process from start to finish, because nobody else in this industry does this anymore. So before we get it going, guys, do me a favor, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and let's get into it. So as you can see here on the property, this deal needs a lot of work, a lot of renovations. This is basically the most gutted fixer upper you can pretty much think of in Ohio. And uh, yeah, as you can see here, this thing is a total piece of work. So honestly, we have it locked up for 30 grand. Honestly, if I could sell this thing for 32, 33, I, I'd be happy with it. I'm not expecting a huge spread on this, but I just want to get this deal sold. So let's go find some buyers in that area. Now this is going to be a fixer upper and then probably a rental since it's part of a duplex, four bedroom, two baths. So there's definitely some great cash flow. So first thing I'm going to go after are just the landlords in the zip code. So I'm just going to go to Zillow, go to the zip code, go by the four rents and just start dialing. Hello, hi. Is this Stephanie? Yes, it is. Hey, Stephanie. Is this the owner of 503 Ford Street or is this the property manager? So I am the owner. Are you interested in getting some additional information about the property? Actually, I'm not looking to rent it. I'm actually a wholesaler in Dayton and uh, I have a deal locked up, uh, a duplex in that same zip code. And I was just trying to reach out to other people in the area, seeing if they're possibly looking to buy it. Oh, looking to buy your property. Yeah, it's a duplex. Gotcha. Um, no, not at this current moment. Um, I, right. I don't think we're looking to, yeah, expand at this moment. All righty. I appreciate it, Stephanie. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. I mean, that's pretty much as simple as you make the conversations. You don't make it complicated and you just go kind of down the line here and uh, keep it up. Hello? Hello? Hello, oh, hi. Is, is this Chris? Yes, this is Shane. Hi, uh, my name is Zach. I was looking, uh, are you the owner of 116th Street? Yes, I am. Okay, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Zach. Um, I'm actually a wholesaler. I'm not looking to rent it out. Um, I have a property under contract, a duplex in that same zip code. And I was trying to reach out to some more landlords in the area and seeing if it's something they'd be interested in. Oh, uh, no, not at this time, but thank you. All right, no worries. Thank you. Why does anybody want to buy right now? Come on. Ooh, la, 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 la. Hello? Hello, hi, is this uh, Gretchen? Hi, yes, this is her. Hello, hi, Gretchen, this is Zach. Uh, I'm calling because I was trying to reach the owner of- Okay, yeah, so my name's Zach. I'm actually a wholesaler in uh, Dayton, and I have a duplex- You're not interested in buying any more duplexes? Uh, we, we already acquire properties, um, but we don't go through wholesalers, but thank you. Okay, no worries. Thank you, bye. Whoa. Looks like somebody got burned from a wholesaler once. Hello? Hello, hi, is this uh, Don? Yes? Hello, hey Don, this is Zach. I'm actually, uh, I was reaching out, finding the owner of one two. Okay. I think you're, you're, you're not looking for a rental. No, no, no. What are you calling me for? 
Yeah, so I'm actually a wholesaler in Dayton and I recently got a property under contract to duplex and I was seeing if any landlords in the area were looking to uh, buy it. Not really unless it's a turkey and the price is real low. <laughs> I mean, the price is low. It, it, it ain't a turnkey. Uh, <laughs> what's the address? On the street? No, I got a property right there, 915, 9, 970. I know exactly what you're talking about. Definitely not interested. Too much work. All right, no worries. I appreciate it. Have yourself <laughs> All right. So a lot of these landlords want the turnkey. They don't want to put the work in it. So what I need to do right now then, I guess, is why don't we just go and find the flippers since these landlords aren't too interested, ain't showing the love. Let's go actually find flippers that actually want to get their hands dirty and get some value add property. So I'm going to go to PropStream and just go to the flippers on duplexes or find the people that have been buying duplexes for cash. And let's go try to call them up. Hello, this is Nick. Hey Nick, how's it going? My name is Zach. Uh, are you the realtor for 1th Avenue? Um, yes, I, I'm the, I'm the um, main listing agent. Uh, my uh, dad and partner is uh, the co-list agent on that one. Okay, got it. Yeah, so the reason I'm calling you is I'm actually a wholesaler in uh, Dayton and uh, my partner just got a duplex under contract and we're just trying to reach out to uh, any realtors in the area seeing if they have any buyers that are interested in some uh, uh, duplexes. Um, uh yeah, possibly. Um, I've got quite a big list, so it, it, a lot of people to go through and stuff. Um, so I, I wouldn't. I would probably need a, a good bit of info to kind of tell, um, like where to or who to send it to, rather, if that makes sense. Yeah, I can um, give you the address. Yeah, um, yeah, that that'd be great. Um, it, it, um, let's see. If you don't mind, would I be able just to text you my email uh, address and you can send anything over um, my way that you have on that? And then yeah. uh, I can kind of respond to you that way. Yeah. Um, I'm, just, I'm, I'm in a little bit of a time crunch here and, <laughs> and, um, and that may be a little bit easier. Been there, done that, man. Let me uh, send me over your email yeah. and I'll uh, send you all the info right now. All right. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Have a good one. All right. Well, he said he's got a bunch of buyers. So, hey, let's see how that goes. Uh, it looks like his dad was the agent, so it seems like a young, hungry realtor. I love seeing those. And obviously, these are fixture upper duplexes that the guy's listing. So he probably has the buyer he can reach out to in a buyer's list. Guys, don't be afraid to reach out to a realtor for deals like this. They hold a lot of control. And as you can tell, the, the landlords in this area, they're not too happy. So uh, realtor's good on this one. Let's keep calling and let's keep this momentum going. I literally go to another one and that same realtor has another duplex that's pending for sale. So uh, this guy's actually gotten a lot. He's getting a lot of duplexes in Dayton under contract as the realtor. So that's pretty awesome. Hello. Hey, is this uh, Aldo? Yeah, what's up? Hey Aldo, this is Zach. Were you the listing agent or currently the agent on T Avenue? Yeah. Okay, hey, so uh, my name is Zach. I'm actually a wholesaler in uh, Dayton. I was trying to reach out to some realtors that are listing triplexes, duplexes, and seeing if they had any buyers for any duplexes. I have a uh, property under contract uh, in Dayton, a fixture upper duplex, and I was seeing if you had any buyers or if you had anyone interested in buying any more properties like that. Yeah, I'm the buyer. Um, what, is, what, what's, what zip code is it? Uh, 454. Four. Um, what else you got? That's it? Uh, that, that one's pretty much it, yeah. You can just text it to me and I'll check it out. Yeah. All right. I'll text it over. Yeah, no, no. I'll check it out and let you know what I think. All right. Appreciate it. He said he's the actual buyer on it. So, hey, no, no big deal there. Let me go text him the address. You had any buyers looking to buy any more duplexes or anything like that? I don't have any buyers looking to buy duplexes. I've got sellers that want to sell them. <laughs> All right, so one of the realtors I emailed is actually interested in seeing the property. So I'm actually gonna have Xavier go give him a call and have them set up the appointment and I actually have him walk through the property and get a cash buyer through. In about 46 minutes of actually calling from start to finish, we had two possibly interested buyers. And this basically shows how difficult it is sometimes to go from zero to 100 on building a cash buyers list from scratch when you get a property under contract. Now, if I had any more time on this, I would probably go to Facebook, scrape some emails, start emailing more deals out, talking to other wholesalers, tower companies. But straight up, it took me 25 minutes to find one interested buyer and another 20 minutes to find another interested buyer and they all happen to be real estate agents. So this is just to show you from the start to finish process of this in wholesaling, it's not as sexy and pretty as everyone makes it seem. In a five minute video, I find 50 cash buyers. This is a rougher area and a tougher deal, but still I'm finding interested buyers with the power of cold calling without paying really any money at all.
So next year, we're gonna get an appointment through and try to document that process and get the deal sold. So hopefully you got some value actually watching me talking to the seller, negotiating it down on this video, and then finding the buyer on this deal and just seeing what the raw uncut process looks like. If you got any value from this video, do me a favor, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe. Let me know if you like videos like this and I'll see you guys on the next one. This is Zach and signing out. Have a blessed one.